here. So today I have another Christmas Day video. If you guys do not follow me on Instagram or um, if you guys don't pay attention to like the description of my videos, I actually told people that I had every plan. I had so many plans, so much plans for Christmas. But towards the end of November, I decided that I'm going to move to this place, to this new apartment. And hence, my plans kind of fell apart because I had two trips back to back. Not only that, um, as soon as I was done with the trips, I had to literally pack up everything and um, move. I'm still not done moving. As you guys can see, I started putting up my stitch collection, which is still not close to being done. I'm actually making like a collection video, my stitch collection video, and doing like a work in progress video that shows how I display these dolls and collection and stuff like that. That video will be out as soon as I'm done, but I feel like it's going to take maybe at least a couple more days because my collection is quite big because I do have quite a bit of stuff and not all my stitches are here yet. Some of them are still at my parents' place, so I still need to go get them and stuff. So I couldn't really make videos, Christmas videos, like in November, towards the end of November and all throughout December. But despite of that, I had, like I said, a lot of plans for um, Christmas-related videos. And because of that, I actually accumulated quite a bit of like winter and Christmas goodies from Japan. And I wanted to share all of these with you guys. I have a lot of stuff. These are from um, two different people, two Instagram people that I follow and I shop from. And like I said, there's quite a bit, a lot of stuff here. But you also have to understand that these are accumulated from like towards the end of October till like very end of December too. So it might seem like I have a lot of stuff and I do have a lot of stuff but I just kind of wanted to get that out to you guys so you guys don't think like, oh Lassie bought all of this in the span of like two weeks, a week or something like that because it was like it's months worth of haul. Anywho, with that being said, let's get started with the first package. So the first package right here is so big. Just to get you an idea of how big it is. Oh my gosh, I can't even lift it. It's too big. It's too big. Oh, I can do it. Give me a second. Ugh. See how big this is? It's quite big. And, um, oh yeah. As you might have noticed, I actually opened up the package already because I really wanted to <laughs> get these slippers out for my new place. I actually get cold feet very, very, very easily and my new apartment has a wooden floor, hardwood floor all over the apartment. And I have tiles in the, no, no, hardwood floor in the kitchen as well. And then, um, is it tiles? I'm not too sure. But anyway, I have no carpet whatsoever in the apartment. So my feet were getting really, really, really cold. And I needed these slippers ASAP. So as soon as I moved in here and I noticed that that was a box, I ripped it open. Well, not ripped it open. I cut it open nicely. <laughs> and then I um, just didn't really pay attention to other stuff because I wanted to give you guys my first reaction with the other items. But before we actually look more into the items I got, including these slippers, I noticed that um, Raquel, who I got this package from, who I shopped from, actually included a letter. So let me quickly read that to you guys. The letter paper that she used is Sailor Moon letter paper. It is so pretty. Okay, let's open it. I think it's so sweet that she puts these letters. So here is her business card. And of course, like I'll provide the link to all these people in the description for you guys to go check them out. Anyway, it says, Hi Lastic, thank you so much for being an amazing customer and friend. I can't thank you enough for your help with the Ariel doll. Oh, I actually helped her get the limited edition Ariel doll set. Um, I was able to get two, one for me, and then Ryan was able to get another one. So I mailed that to her family in New York, and I think they brought it to her in Japan. I've included extra for both you and Jenny. Oh, she didn't have to. I think you can figure out which is hers. I've also included some Ufufi Christmas de decoration that just came out. You can decorate your new place with holiday Ufufis. Enjoy Raquel, aka Chibi Studio. Oh, I feel so bad she included the holiday stuff and I was not able to use them. But in my defense, I moved into this place December 17th and I was not able to decorate um, any holiday stuff until like the 24th of this month. So until the Christmas Eve. Which is why I'm going to leave up my Christmas decoration until like maybe January 7th, let's just say. 11. 11 is my, my favorite number. 11. Until January 11th, I'm keeping them up. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to grab one at a time randomly and I'll show you guys. So here is a big bag. It's a Disney bag. And oh, I can already tell what they are because of the smell of it. So I know these are already released in America, but you can kind of get this sense of how early, like how early on I ordered these from her because these were not released in America when I first ordered them from her. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I got Beast and as you guys can guess, one is for me and one is for my sister. These are not going to be in particular order because I'm just going to grab them as I see doubles up. So then I got Coxworth. One's for me and one's for my sister. Then of course there is Belle. Super cute. Like I said, these are um, available in US Disney stores now. And then here are Lumiere. And then here is Mrs. Potts. Then here we have Chip. So cute. So far these are not, you know, so Christmas related, but still. And then we have the mini ones of Beast and Belle and Beast and Belle. So those I'm definitely going to bring to my sister once I go to my parents' house. And then the last three things from the bag are not Oofoofies. I got Simpsons. These are actually from Halloween collection. Like I said, these are quite, quite old. I have Stitch and Pooh. The Pooh one is definitely going to go to my sister. But what's actually really cool about these Simpsons um, is that they are reversible. So see how Stitch looks like he is a pumpkin, but there's this um, little zipper, not a zipper, um, Velcro on the back, and you just flip him and then he becomes regular Stitch. But of course, because I want to have different variations of Stitch, I'm going to keep him like this. And this one is, as you can guess, it's Pooh, and I got it for my sister. Then over here, this one is actually quite recent out of the ones that I have, I got. This one is the white, like a soft, off-white mascot of Stitch and he is so soft and pretty. He's definitely going to go on that shelf. He's going to be included in uh, my collection video. Like I said, the collection video will be coming up really, really soon as soon as I'm ready. Most of the major plushies are already displayed, but I still need to display some of the figures and even some of the major ones are not displayed. I don't think I'll be able to display all my stitches in one row. I might have to go the second row down. I have no idea. And over here is another bag. So let's see what's in here. Oh, 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 okay. So this one, which one is this? Um, Character Beauty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is, um, I believe, is it from 7-Eleven? But you were able to select one pouch. They had, I think, four or five different designs of pouches and then get Haichu. So Haichu is Japanese snack. It's like a chewy gummy, fruity gummy. So you could get one Haichu and then select one of the four or five designs of Sailor Moon and My Melody collaboration. So this is the design I got. It's super cute. Then over here is a box which Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. I feel like this is going to be one of these items that I have and I'm going to like very seldomly use, but I'm going to cherish so, so, so much. This, see guys, there is Sailor Moon on the front and Raquel, I asked her to see if she can find one for me. The store, the first store that she went to, she they were sold out, but she was able to find another one. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. She was able to find another one at a different store. So that's what that's what I have right here. This is Moonrod, Sailor Moon Moonrod, but it's not just any Moonrod, guys. You take it out, and it's actually a brush. It's actually a makeup. Oh my gosh, that is soft. It's actually a makeup brush. It's so, so pretty. Look how magical that looks. Oh my gosh. I'm like really, 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 really thinking about dedicating an area where I just have magical girl stuff because I don't know, like there are so many other magical girl animations that I haven't watched. But something about magical girls always make me like super happy and I feel like a little child watching them. But yet again, they teach really valuable lesson. Like you overlook them because of the animation and all the pre pretty graphics and whatnot. But a lot of magical girl animations have very valuable um, lessons in them and I love it. So here is my moon rod, like I said. 
<laughs> I don't know if I will ever use it, but it's so pretty. Maybe I shouldn't consider this as like a um, Christmas video, but this is more like just, I don't know, like a kawaii items haul, right? And as I say that, it becomes more Christmassy. Yeah, <laughs> look at all these plushies. These are from Poke Center in Japan. And oh my goodness, these are so stinking cute. We have so many plushies. So we have this plushie of Pikachu in a Santa hat. And this one is actually from Demo. I am not going to take it out from the plastic bag just yet because I'm still working on displaying my collection. And I want to um, keep it in the plastic until I actually have time to display it. Then here, I think that's the only Demo plushie in this bag. Yeah. Okay, so from here, I have um, Poke Center plushies. So this one is Pikachu and he is dressed up as a Christmas tree. And like I said, even though it's already past Christmas, I'm going to leave off my Christmas stuff until January 11th. Therefore, he is going to be displayed around my Christmas stuff. He is so cute and he has a little bell on top. Look at his art, his promo art. So pretty. Oh my gosh. And then over here, we have Ruff Ruff. And he is dressed up as a little Santa. He is so cute. Look at his cape. So cute. Oh my gosh. These little pockets are actually working pockets. They have Velcros on them. And you can actually put little items in them. That is so cute. And he also has a bell. I don't know if you can actually take this off. I'm pretty sure you might be able to take off the um, hood, the cape. But oh my gosh, look at the inner lining of this cape, so pretty. And of course, he is absolutely adorable. And here is the tag art. And of course, we have Alolan Bullpix. This is so cute, look. There is a little mistletoe detailing and a little cape with a bell again. Let's look at the lining. Yep, the lining looks the same as Rock Ruff. So cute. And here is the tag art. Then we have a few more plushies. This one is, which collection is this? This one is also from Poke Center. I don't remember which collection this belonged to, but it's part of the um, Snowman, Pikachu Snowman collection. Super duper cute. It's a mask on size. And then over here, we have the bigger size of the same Pikachu. Super cute. Oh, let me show you guys the tag art, which is actually on the mask on as well. Here is the tag art for this series. So cute! Then I also got some masking tape because I love my washi tapes. These are all from It's Demo. And It's Demo had this Eevee, Lucian, and Volpix like winter themed goodies. They also had some Pokemon, other Pokemon ones like Charmander and Pikachu and which other? I'm trying to think which other um, Pokemon were involved, but I always love their washi tape because they are so cute and super detailed in the pattern. So here they are. Hopefully you guys can see them. I apologize for the lighting if it's like too bright. Like I said, this is a new place and I'm trying to, still trying to figure out the lighting and the sound situation here. And these are also from the Vulpix and Eevee Lucian collection. I got some really fuzzy long socks. Here's the blue pair and here's the pink pair. So cute, fuzzy fuzzy. And I usually do not pick up a notebook, but um, I thought this notebook was so cute that I needed it. And I use notebook a lot to actually like this size notebook a lot to write down ideas and you know, for memoing purposes. So I got one of them. <sighs> and here's the reason why this box was so heavy because I actually had two magazines. And do I actually read these magazines? No, but they were included with such adorable file folders that I just could not pass up. Um, I will look at the, um, the fashion, but they are probably really outdated. Oh, this one is November of 2017, so it's not that outdated. This one is also November of 2017, well, but they probably came out with these in October. That makes sense. So yeah, and also they came with some extra goodies. This one had this brown, I mean this gray bag that came with this magazine. And then this one came with this, um, what color is it? Brown bag that came with them. And they are included in these boxes, which I'm going to open off camera probably. I have too many things to talk about right now. We only have a few more things left. I think from the Poke Center winter collection, I got a mug. This is the mug art. 
I'm just not gonna take it out because I actually don't trust myself like I have so many things around me right now I don't trust myself to not drop it and not break this mug But this is the art that will be on the mug that is going to be on the mug. Come on. Yeah Look at the art. It's so pretty super wintry. Oh my gosh guys I see the gift that Raquel has mentioned and I can clearly tell which one is for me and which one is for Jenny But there is another bag that is actually taped shut. So let's see what is in here? Oh, these are the winter goodies that she was talking about. <gasps> these are so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Rudolph stick. I actually saw these on Instagram, but like by the time I found out about them, they, I was like kind of too late. So I never ordered them, but oh my gosh, she included them in. I have Rudolph stick and this Christmas tree stick that um, Oof Woofies can actually hold. And then here is um, a white wreath and then a green wreath that Oof Woofies can wear around them. Kind of like a tube. Let me see if I can show you guys an example. Cogsworth is going to be demonstrating these Christmas accessories for us. So, like so, it goes around. Look how cute he looks already. Oh my gosh, he looks so festive. You can even bring it down a little lower if you want to, but I think I like it right here. And then he can actually hold one of the sticks like so. It will be easier if I didn't have the tag, but look how cute he is. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Raquel. That was so sweet of you to include these gifts. Oh, you better believe I'm going to definitely have them displayed until January 11th. Ah, and here are the gifts that I noticed that Raquel sent for me and Jenny. They are mugs, but one is um, the Little Mermaid and the other one is Beauty and the Beast. And the Beauty and the Beast one, probably, I'm sure, <laughs> Hopefully, I'm sure. That doesn't make any sense. I'm sure it's for my sister. Let me quickly show you. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be really careful. Um, I'm not sure if the design correlates with the box art with this one. So I'm just going to quickly show you and then put them in um, right away. Oh, I'm glad I actually took them out because the box art looks like this, but it does not look like the box art. I mean, it does kind of represent the box art a little bit, but not exactly. Oh, come on, camera focus. Yeah, see how this is the box art, but oh, I'm sorry. I hit the camera Here is how the mug looks and it looks same on both sides. It's a really cute mug I, si I think my sister will love this. Oh my gosh. Look at the inner part, too Thank you so much Raquel for even taking care of my little sister for me. That is so sweet of you Now I'm super curious to see what um Little mermaid one looks like okay. So here is the box art of Little Mermaid, of the Little Mermaid. Still really cute. Let's see how it looks. Right away, these boxes, I don't toss them away. Not only because the box is so pretty, but they are actually perfect to kind of prop up when you're displaying your collection like that. Um, here is the mug for Ariel. <gasps> oh my gosh, so pretty. I love the color scheme on this. With the pop of Little Red. It's perfect. So those are all of the items I got from Raquel, which their Instagram name, I'm pretty sure, is Raquel's Creation. But if I didn't get that right, I'll provide the link in the description. Now moving on to our second box. I know, I have a lot of stuff. I told you so. The second stuff, I actually have it in this file box because I had to put pretty much everything I own and move it. And these file boxes are quite handy. Like you can actually use them over and over and over and you can even collapse them and everything. And because I'm not moving like in a day, I'm actually going to move in the span of a month. I was planning on doing it in two weeks, but no, after two weeks, I maybe I might have moved maybe a fifth of my collection, if not less, because I'm doing it one at a time slowly. And also the roads are really slippery, so I don't want to like carry heavy boxes and slip on the road. So yeah, I'm taking my time. But anyway, I put it in this box so that it was easier for me to carry. One of them I actually already took out and opened on camera, which was the Sanrio um, Advent Calendar. And I did it in a special edition of Blind Bang Marathon. And if you guys want to check it out, I'll provide the link in the description box below. But for now, let's take out the remaining items and see. These, I'm pretty sure, are mostly Christmas. So over here, we have a bag, which is 
so nicely bagged. I feel always super bad whenever I have to open something that is so carefully packaged. Oh, 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 these, <gasps> these. Like I said, these were accumulated <laughs> over such a long time because these are clearly not from Christmas collection, but they are actually from Halloween collection. I have Kuromi and then I have Cinema Roll and look how cute they are. They're both so lovely. They're definitely going to go into my Halloween bin so that they can be decorated in my room um, next Halloween. If not, if I decide to dedicate like a shelf and I have some space, I might put these. But here they are, they're so cute. I just love how bold the black is. Moving on, over here we have another bag and this is from Disney, maybe? Oh no, these are all mixed. So we have some gacha, which I'm not going to open on camera right now, but I'm going to open it off. Not off camera, but in like a separate video. Then this squishy, oh, another gacha. Okay, so that was an easy bag. So this is actually Halloween squishy. This is Mimi Q. It's actually not that squishy. It's not slow rising. It's a very, very, very hard squishy, but it looks super cute. And I thought it would be super cute to decorate my Halloween, future Halloween shelf with this Mimi Q. So here is Mimi Q squishy. That is not really squishy. And over here, I'm thinking this is going to be Christmas stuff because it's in a Christmas bag. Okay, over here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <gasps> These ornaments, oh my goodness. They're technically not ornaments, but they're more like, uh, just mascot, but this one is cinema roll in a stocking Which is so cute and then this is cinema roll um, what, what do you call it? Um, 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 snowman. Oh my gosh. I was blanking out so much. So here they are Oh, look how cute they are and here are the details on the back So cute and looks like we have another mug Apparently, I really love mugs. I mean, that was like a known problem. Like both Jenny and I love mugs, but I think we both kind of tried to contain it because otherwise our mugs, no, this is this is not a mug. This is actually a snow globe. Okay, I feel a little better now. Here's the snow globe. Oh my gosh, the snow globe is so pretty. This is, um, I believe these are also available on Sanrio US websites. But a lot of times when I order from Japan through these sellers, it's because I'm not too sure if they were, if they're going to make their way over to the United States. A lot of times they don't. Some they do, most of them, mm -mm, no, they don't. So if I see something I really, really, really like, I just get it from my sellers. But, oh my gosh, look at this, my melody. Hopefully my camera will focus. There we go. My melody is holding a Boon, and I love the pastel -y color scheme of this snow globe. It's so, so, so pretty. Look at the details. The details. Oh, so cute. And this is something that I could just leave out all year round, even though it came out in like part of the winter collection, I believe. Um, it's something that I could have out. I mean, because this is like super springy as well, right? I was going to have a dedicated video opening these but I never got a chance. These are um, Sanrio acrylic charms, blind boxes. And I was actually going to make them into ornaments after opening them. I could still do that. I could still do that. Regardless, I'm going to definitely be opening these because up until I actually execute all of my Christmas ideas I had for this year, I'm actually going to be posting two videos a day. I had to skip yesterday because yesterday was Christmas Eve and I had a lot of plans and I spent some time with family for family dinner and things like that. But until I execute all of my ideas, I'm going to be posting one regular toy video and one Christmas related video. So my Christmas celebration might be extended until the first week of January. I apologize. We have two more bags to open. So this bag is quite heavy. So let's open this one first. Ooh. Oh, I think these are little gifts. Oh, she included little cookies. And are these little charms? Yeah, little charms. These are little heart charms. And then a crystal bear. Oh, how cute. Look how cute and pretty this crystal bear is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now here is our last bag. Oh, and this is where my other Sanrio um, mascots were. Okay, 
with the stocking collection, I got three more. I mean, I already showed you my um, cinema roll one, but I have Pom Pom Pudding and My Melody and Hello Kitty. And they are all super cute and they're all in their stocking here. Let me show them to you. So here's Pom Pom Pudding, My Melody, and Hello Kitty. They're super cute. Oh my gosh, I love their soft colors. And I also got My Melody Snowman right here. So cute. So yeah, oh my goodness, that was a long video. So all of the items I got from my second box, I got them from my friend on Instagram, Nancy Makea. I'll provide the link to their Instagram in the description box below as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all of the things I got from my two hauls. They were, I thought they were going to be more Christmassy, but they were like hauled over like span of two, three months, almost. Yeah, almost two and a half months, so they were kind of mixed up everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.